Did you know that our bodies are important tools in our day-to-day communication? Our nonverbal cues and body language can convey all sorts of information without even saying a word. Sometimes this can be beneficial, especially if you're a naturally confident individual who has a tall, straight, and grounded posture that radiates certainty in their identity. Unfortunately, when people are naturally more insecure or anxious, their nervous body language is sometimes the hardest to control. Because anxiety and nerves are so affected by our inner physiological responses, often even the most soothing mantras or positive affirmations aren't able to convince our faces to stop turning red. So, if you're interested in learning about nonverbal signs that someone is nervous, stick around, because today we have 12 signs of nervous body language just for you. Number 12. Squeezing their hands or cracking their knuckles. Self-soothing behaviors such as cracking their knuckles or squeezing their hands are often done reflexively when someone is feeling nervous. Applying pressure to various parts of your body, especially your hands, can give you a sense of control over your body and your environment. Without even realizing it, you might engage in these self-soothing behaviors to loosen your nerves. Along with that, the action of grabbing your hands pulls your arms into your chest, thus minimizing the space you're taking up. Number 11. Keeping their distance. A good way to identify signs of nervousness is by noticing how much distance someone is putting between themselves and others. For example, if you see someone at a party or in the office who seems to stand near the walls or hides in their cubicle, rather than socializing, they could be seen as rude, but chances are they're just shy and feeling nervous around others. If they're sitting down but they're leaning as far away as possible, this could also be a sign of nervousness. Standing far away and maintaining distance can also suggest a lack of confidence. So if you see someone acting like a wallflower, try to strike up a friendly conversation to ease their nerves. Number 10. Shrinking their bodies as much as possible. Similar to maintaining distance, people who are nervous will often shrink their bodies as much as they can. In an attempt to hide in plain sight, nervous people might raise their shoulders and pull them forward. This makes their backs hunch so they appear less tall. Another way people might shrink themselves is by not making any large or expansive hand gestures, which might make them appear almost rigid or robotic in their movements. Number 9. Becoming more submissive. When people are nervous, they might reflexively become more submissive in nature, even when they're normally dominant people. This can be shown in a couple of different ways. Excessive nodding, for example, is one way to show nervousness. If you're having a discussion with someone and you notice they're nodding even when the conversation isn't prompting them to, they might be feeling jittery from nerves and unable to sit still. They also might be wanting to appear agreeable and more submissive to your direction. Another sign of submission is having a high-pitched or upward inflection in their voice. When someone makes their voice high-pitched, they can appear more childish or meek, making them appear less intimidating to their peers. Similarly, ending their sentences with an upward inflection, as if they're asking a question, makes them appear unsure or less confident in their statement, thus giving other people in the conversation more power to object or criticize them. If you see someone displaying any of these submissive expressions, especially if they're normally a confident individual, they could be feeling anxious. Number 8. Blushing One telltale sign of nervousness is blushing, especially because we usually can't control it. Of course, the reddening of the face can indicate embarrassment, shame, or even anger too but it's often our natural physiological response to stressful triggers. In fact, in 1982, Charles Darwin described blushing as the most peculiar and most human of all expressions, due to how involuntary it is. No matter how much preparation or pep talks you give yourself to prepare for something that makes you nervous, ashamed, or embarrassed, if something triggers your body's response to blush, there's no hiding it. So if you notice someone is blushing before a presentation or before a first date, they might be nervous. Number 7. Nail Biting Another self-soothing tactic to regain control is incorporating your mouth into your movements. Nail biting or even placing a pen or toothpick into your mouth is a way to create a sense of control when you're feeling nervous. This could also be why people turn to cigarettes or binge eating when they're feeling stressed out. Stimulating the mouth might give them a sense of control, even though the habits are unhealthy. By the way, if you're finding this video valuable so far, then make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and why not subscribe so you can keep learning more? It's free. Number 6. Fidgeting When someone is fidgeting, they're likely nervous and uncomfortable in the situation. Whether they're tapping their feet, drumming their fingers on a table, or shaking their knees, it can be an indication that their anxiety is really making them want to leave their environment, but they're unable to. Swaying back and forth or rocking on their feet is another type of fidgeting that can indicate nervousness. 
Sometimes while someone is giving a speech or engaging in an important conversation, you'll notice that instead of standing tall and straight, they're actually swaying in their spot. This is a good indication that they're feeling out of their comfort zone. Number five, pacing. If you notice someone is pacing around a room while working or giving a speech, it's a sign that their body is pumping anxiety. Likely due to being nervous about something, it's a way for their bodies to burn off their extra energy and adrenaline, bringing them back down to baseline. Of course, they could just be trying to get in more steps instead of being sedentary. But if you notice they're also acting fidgety or displaying any of the other signs of nervousness, why not suggest they do a power pose? You can learn more about power poses in our video, Nine Body Language Signs of True Confidence, linked in the description below. Number four, freezing. Yes, most signs of nervousness involve excessive movements and jitters, but sometimes when someone is experiencing extreme anxiety, they'll completely freeze up. Fight or flight is the most well-known physiological response to threats of danger, but sometimes the threat might seem so overwhelming our bodies can't take any action. As a result, they'll freeze. Imagine someone in a classroom is asked a question they're unprepared for. Of course, they can't flee, and if they don't have an answer prepared, they can't exactly fight. Instead, they might stutter, unable to speak, staring blankly ahead, virtually frozen. If someone is seen in this frozen state, their bodies are likely experiencing so much anxiety and adrenaline at the moment that their bodies do not know what to do with it. As a result, they freeze, taking no action until the stressor has passed. Number three, sweating. Sweating is one of the most annoying and telling physiological responses to stress and anxiety. Unfortunately, there's not a lot one can do to control their sweating. Thus, it is usually a surefire sign that they're feeling nervous. Also, fortunately, it can trigger a cycle of increased nervousness. If someone is nervous about a presentation and they begin to sweat more than normal, they might also become stressed about others noticing their sweating, thus increasing their anxiety. Sometimes medical professionals are able to prescribe treatments for excessive sweating. So if you struggle with this side effect of nerves, a trip to the doctor might aid in relieving a lot of extra stress. Number two, crossing their arms. If someone is crossing their arms, it doesn't always mean they're in a bad mood. Sometimes it's a self-soothing method to control their nerves. When someone is crossing their arms, not only are they minimizing the amount of space they're taking up, they're also protecting themselves by shielding their chest. It can give them the feeling of control and also soothe them, as if they're hugging themselves. Regardless of what is causing someone to cross their arms, whether they're nervous or feeling angry, it's usually a sign that something is making them uncomfortable. Number one, avoiding eye contact. Avoiding eye contact is a very telling sign that someone is feeling nervous. Often when someone is avoiding eye contact, it's associated with lying, and this makes sense. Although it's not always an indicator of lying, when people lie, they likely are feeling some nervousness during the lie, whether it's from the shame or fear of being caught, thus refraining from looking in the other person's eyes. However, even if no lies are being said, it can still indicate nervousness. Think about someone who has social anxiety and is sitting on a public bus, when a stranger sits next to them. Someone with no anxiety might make direct eye contact, smile, or even greet them with a hello or strike up a conversation. Someone who feels nervous around others might avoid eye contact with them at all costs by gluing their eyes to the window or their cell phones. All of these are examples of nervous body language. And if you like the video, then check out these related videos to see more. And make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and we will personally reply to your comment.